morning guys. Today we are in the beautiful Exumas. It is an incredible morning here and we can't wait to go sailing. Let's talk about tacking. To get ready for our tack, we wanna go ahead and bring our catamaran up to about 50 degrees to the wind. Most catamarans can point fairly well at 50 degrees. Some of the newer, bigger production catamarans, you might have to tack from 60 degrees. Once you're on your close haul of about 50 degrees, you wanna go ahead and center your boom. Bring your traveler in so that that boom is right down the middle of the boat. Assign a couple people to be on the jib sheets, one person to be on your lazy jib sheet, one person to be on your loaded jib sheet. The helmsman is gonna to wanna to go ahead and figure out where the boat is gonna end up when we complete the tack. So we can look 50 degrees into the wind and 50 degrees downwind. What reference point 100 degrees away is where we're gonna end up. Go ahead and get your jib sheets ready. You wanna get your lazy sheet loaded up on that winch, ready to go, and you wanna get the loaded sheet ready to release. Ideally, if there's enough space at the helm, you can have one person on the loaded sheet and one on the lazy sheet. Some catamaran helms are a little more crowded and you may have one person handling both of those lines. There are a couple of key differences between tacking a monohull and a catamaran. On a catamaran, we really wanna make sure we have enough speed to go through the turn. And when we do our tack, it's not gonna be as sudden of a turn as it is on a monohull. A tack on a catamaran is more of an arcing turn where we maintain and keep up our speed. You really wanna make sure that your catamaran is powered up to make it through the tack. So one trick is to actually fall off five or 10 degrees so that you get the speed you need to complete your tack. One mistake that we see fairly frequently is, as people are getting ready to tack a catamaran, they'll slowly start heading up to closer to 40 degrees. That depowers the catamaran and often you'll run out of steam partway through your tack. When we're ready to tack, the helmsman is gonna check with the crew to make sure everybody's ready. They're gonna ask the question, ready to tack? The crew will respond when they're ready, ready. The helmsman can then begin the tack and say, tacking. Or if you're an old crusty salt, you can say, helms a -lee. As we come through the wind on our tack, it's really important that we back wind the jib. The mainsail on a catamaran is so big that when we tack, we can often experience what's called wind veining. Wind veining is when the mainsail pulls the boat back into the wind. To counter the influence of wind veining, we need to back wind our jib, hold that jib, until it gets all the way down to at least 30 degrees before you release it. Once the boat is through 30 degrees to the wind, you can go ahead and release that jib and the person on the new loaded jib sheet can start cranking in. Once the person on the jib releases, the helmsman is actually gonna wanna keep steering down to almost 60 degrees before they start straightening out. This is really important. If the helmsman starts straightening out at about 30 to 40 degrees, often wind veining will pull you right back up into irons. When the helmsman has that course locked in at 60 degrees to the wind, the person on the jib can keep on trimming, trimming that jib tight, and now you'll have the speed to slowly head back up to a close haul. Tacking really is a lot of fun. When all the crew is working together to complete a tack and you pull one off that just seems to flow, it's a great feeling. So head out there, practice some tacks with your crew, and see if you can get those tacks down so that they're super smooth and you're tacking like a pro. 